and I saw a picture of him and Lori, like the same exact pose. What do you mean? I mean, the p- same exact pose that he took with me. Okay. And he, d- he did the same with Lori. The Harvey family is once again in the news, and once again, it is not for the right reasons. Steve Harvey is one of the most influential and famous men in Hollywood, yet every time we've heard about him in recent times has been for something bad. It looks like all the evil things he did in his career are just now coming out, and people are finally getting to see him for who he really is as opposed to the picture he has painted of himself over the years. He is a household name and we all know him as the wholesome funny guy, but it turns out that that is just a mask and the reality is really dark. News has been coming out left and right about the creepy and messed up stuff that goes on in Hollywood. Name after name is being exposed for doing crimes you guys can't even imagine. One of these names is that of the music mogul Diddy Combs. And he started like punching me like this, like he avoided my face, but he like started punching me like on the side of my head and I was just like covering my face. Diddy is one of those people in the industry who seem to be invincible. Although he has been associated with countless crimes, even the murders of legends like Tupac and Biggie Smalls, he seems to get out of every situation. But that seems to be changing, especially after his ex Cassie Ventura filed a lawsuit against him and exposed him for who he is. Now you might be wondering how Diddy and Steve Harvey are connected here. Well, it turns out that Steve has no regard for even his family when it comes to his shady dealings in Hollywood. One of the people he makes these dealings for is Diddy. Even Cat Williams mentioned this. According to sources, he messed up and owed Diddy big time and so, he had to give Diddy whatever he asked for. And of course Diddy being Diddy, asked for his daughter Lori Harvey. You're watching The Celebrity Hyped, and in today's video we are going to be talking about how Lori Harvey revealed that Steve Harvey pimped her to Diddy. But before we get to that, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this one in the future. So we all know that Diddy has been associated with some pretty shady things in his career. He has been close to people who are known for doing questionable things. Not only that, but he is also associated with the murders of two of hip-hop's biggest names, Tupac and Biggie Smalls. But if that wasn't bad enough, he was the number one suspect in the homicide case of his ex Kim Porter. So it's safe to say that this man doesn't exactly have the best reputation and especially not a good reputation when it comes to dating and how he treats his partners. Almost all of his exes have come forward talking about how abusive he is. We don't even need to talk about what Cassie Ventura said in her lawsuit. We all know what she went through for 10 years while she was dating him. Now Steve and Diddy have been good friends for a while. Their history goes back to the 90s. We all thought that they were just two black dudes in the industry supporting each other, and we thought it was wholesome and sent a good message but that's not what was happening. Steve has been called a puppet for Hollywood elites before as well, and it turns out that that's exactly what he was doing with Diddy as well. His whole job was to clean up the messes that Diddy made and make sure that the music mogul had a good reputation. He even tried his best to distance Diddy from the Tupac shooting right after it happened. This is not a $100,000 donation, folk. This is millions of dollars of his own. This is millions. So it's safe to say that Steve Harvey knows Diddy pretty well. He knows the skeletons in his closet because he helped hide all of them. But then, why did Steve let a person like Diddy date his daughter Lori Harvey? Yes, that's right. As insane as it sounds, Lori Harvey and Diddy have been together. Although it was for a short while, it's still pretty weird. It turns out that Diddy just has a type, and that type is just vulnerable young girls. This is exactly what Cassie said in her lawsuit as well. She said that the first time Diddy reached out to her with an offer to date him was back when she joined Bad Boy Records. Back then she was just 19 years old, while he was well into his late 30s. The age gap didn't stop him then and it didn't stop him when it came to Lori either. But why would Steve allow it, knowing the kind of person Diddy is? Well, there's an answer to that, but trust us, it's dark. But wait a minute, before we continue on with the video, do us a little favor and share this video with a friend who might enjoy our content. So Lori and Diddy were seen in Italy together back in 2019. We could easily tell from their body language that something was going on between the two. Diddy and Lori Harvey, they're heating things up in Italy. Notice her arm is on the back of his chair. But that's not even the weirdest part. 
The weird part is that Steve Harvey was present there as well. He was seated right behind them. I think it's more yeah, interesting that Steve Harvey's there. Now we have seen that Steve actually does give Lori a lot of importance, but why did he let her go out with someone like Diddy, who's not only much older than her but also has a closet full of skeletons? Well, it turns out that Lori never really wanted to date Diddy, but was forced by her father Steve Harvey to do so. According to some sources, Steve Harvey messed up somewhere while working for Diddy. Diddy didn't like this and demanded compensation. Now money doesn't matter for the both of them, they're both billionaires, so it had to be something different. And as you guys probably guessed it, Diddy asked Steve for Lori. Now this is one of the most shocking pieces of information we have gotten so far. Even Diddy's ex confirmed that they had something going on. And I saw a picture of him and Lori, like the same exact pose. What do you mean? I mean, the p same exact pose that he took with me. Okay. And he, d he did the same with Lori. They were spotted out in Italy, and that's where we knew that something was going on between the pair. Then Steve Harvey being there further confirmed the rumors. But hold on, that's not all. Lori Harvey was asked in a recent interview about her dating history. She said that there are a lot of rumors out there. She added that sometimes she finds out that she's dating someone through the internet and she doesn't even know his name. Like full-blown stories, I've heard I've dated a father and son before. This is when Diddy's name got brought up and Lori said that she has never dated the music mogul. This was a shocker to all of us and we didn't know what to make of it. Some fans thought that she said it because they might have never actually dated. It might have just been a little fling for the both of them, which could make sense as well, but that's not what the streets are saying. It could have been a fling, but some fans have more twisted theories about their relationship and dynamics. According to the other fans, the reason she didn't admit to dating Diddy was because she never did it consensually or because she wanted to date him. The only reason she did date him was because her father forced her in order to repay a debt he was in. So it turns out that Steve Harvey pimped out his own daughter just to please Diddy. Diddy seems to be a really strong person because if someone as influential as Steve Harvey is going to such extreme lengths to please him, there must be something very big about the music mogul, won't you agree? And that was all we had time for in today's video. Do you think Steve Harvey is going to react to this news? Do you think Diddy will have something to say about it? What do you think is going to happen next? Let us know all your thoughts and predictions in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this one in the future.